In early 2013, I was presented with two incredible opportunities designing a symbol for Italy in New York on the occasion of the Year of Italian Culture and also a public art project in the middle of Manhattan. My role as curator was to look back to the future. There's a strong retrospective thrust in Saracino's work and in today's art practice. There are basically two camps, artists using archaeology directly and artists using the past indirectly as a metaphor for history or politics. And Antonio belongs to this latter group. Helen and I um, collaborated any number of times on, a, on projects. As it happened, she called me and had asked if I was working on any projects uh, currently that might consider um, accepting a piece of art being donated by the Italian government as part of the year of the um, cultural exchange. And uh, I gave it some thought and we were completing the plaza at 1095 Avenue in the Americas. And I thought that that was a great opportunity to have a piece of sculpture in the plaza. When we met Antonio, um, we were, I think, a little bit scared because we didn't know exactly what his idea was, but also intrigued because he has a very kind of magical energy about him. He hit a nerve with us with this idea of the remaking of the David sculpture. And I think his, uh, his passion for the project and his energy kind of kept us on the line as he went through different iterations. And then when we finally saw some of the visual images of what we ended up with now, we got pretty excited. At the time, I was asked by the Italian Embassy to look at the Michelangelo's David uh, as an inspiration. Clearly, the magnum reference was uh, very intimidating. Yet, I was so honored to create a symbol that could represent a permanent gift from my native Italy to New York City that I accept uh, the exceptional opportunity. See the crystal structure of the material? Yeah, it's very crystalline and bright. There is a lot of uh, Italian uh, in this company. The machinery uh, made from cutting marble, everything is from Italy, uh, except uh, this beautiful marble uh, uh, that Mother Nature uh, made uh, 600 million ago in Vermont. We are inside uh, the Denby Quarry, the largest underground marble quarry in the world. This is a small office, uh, it's just uh, very close to the entrance that was open uh, uh, 110 years ago. The material, uh, the blocks uh, that uh, we have quarried uh, for uh, Antonio is coming from uh, this area. It is called uh, Upper Imperial War. We have always celebrated in our civilization around the globe the means of the superhuman and our ability to supersede our limited physical condition with our limitless inner potency. The Bible tale of the young Israeli King David and the giant Goliath has galvanized generations. David defeats Goliath with his limitless faith. When I think about the project, I think probably the things that stand out to me is probably the manufacturing process, the cutting of the stone and, and going to the quarry and, and seeing the transformation from these raw blocks of stone into this, uh, uh, I guess, fabulous finished, finished product. Um, so that's, that's probably something I'll, I'll take away from this project. Working with, the, with our team here, there was a tremendous involvement from everybody to get the level of precision necessary to accomplish this amazing statue. There was the fabrication of it, there was the positioning of all the pieces, there was the steel rods that had to go inside of it that had to be positioned exactly. There was the drafting aspect of this which, and the modeling of this which needed to take place so we could understand exactly how this whole thing would go together prior to putting any piece on top of another piece. The assembly, the lifting, the handling, it challenged us in every possible way 
that you could be challenged in our industry. My firm was contacted to uh, design the structural engineering aspect of the uh, statute and it's a uh, We've worked with Antonio in the past, and you know, we know he does uh, very uh, unique uh, pieces, and we're really excited to work on this. And uh, like everything else in the project, it, it's been a, a fun and exciting challenge to design uh, this sculpture to, uh, to meet the needs of the client and uh, yeah, to make it a truly beautiful art piece. Initially, the project involved only the hero from the past, referring to Michelangelo's David. But Equity needed two sculptures for its plaza, and thus, Superhero was born. One David made a lot of sense, but since there are two entries into the plaza and we had a requirement for two pieces, we tasked Antonio to come up with something that was more meaningful than another David. If, if Florence could uh, survive for so many years with one David, certainly New York, didn't need to have two. And um, he did, he came back later with the concept of the, um, the Man of Steel. I was so inspired by that potency. I was inspired to materialize this universal reference in the middle of Manhattan, in the shape of a hero from the past and the promise of a superhero from the future. The Guardians represent two symbolic protectors of New York City that celebrate the superhuman and universal inspiration that it channels. Actually, the Guardians offer New Yorkers consolation, not unlike the two famous lions in front of the New York Public Library one block away. Mayor LaGuardia actually renamed them Patience and Fortitude in the 30s for the qualities he felt New Yorkers needed to survive the economic depression. The day-to-day -day passion that Antonio possessed um, in, in meetings and his vision for, for, the, uh, for the sculptures. Um, it's, it's, uh, it was inspiring for everyone on the team and I think it's, uh, it's a great, great statement for, for the plaza and one of the great final pieces for the, for the development. I know it's the right piece and uh, I think people will be pleased to see it and it'll become an integrated part of the uh, plaza itself. The architectural body is a vital trace in our world. Nothing will speak louder in celebrating a hero and a superhero as two custodians of our city.